All right, we're getting the morning started off good. This gray fox has been giving us fits the last few days. He didn't come by me here. This is one of our first set of traps. I'm gonna see two coyotes coming in on a paved road, so stuff's been moving. Second set of traps, and we got old skunky. Still have not, the river's right there, and there's tons of coon tracks. We, ain't, we did catch one. Did we catch a raccoon here? I think we caught the second animal here was a coon. Yeah, we caught one coon, but two two skunks so far. Skunks are far outweighing the raccoons, which surprises me. I saw her stay here and ate on it. <clears throat> this rascal been stealing my beaver hides, so I staked that beaver leg. He came and chewed on the beaver leg. I guess maybe my trap is so far back here. Let's continue to miss him. We're slack, slack on skunks yesterday. We're making up for them today, though. These dog proofs are hammering them. We got another tree shaker. And that's a coon, not Pippi. There he is. I'm using for these dog proofs, we're using just cheap cat food and some strawberry, like strawberry milk syrup, making strawberry chocolate milk. Been working good so far. It's tough to tell, that kind of looks like a skunk. Claw, maybe that looks like a raccoon back foot, kind of. Something dug it up, not sure what. These are the new traps we just set yesterday. Probably 200 yards up there around the corners where we had the coat that dug up our, our sets. Mine didn't get dug up, I don't believe. I don't know if I had any activity. It's like something came and visited, maybe a gray fox. Something kind of small footed. <laughs> Making up for our lack of skunks yesterday for today. <clears throat> this is where we saw the badger crossing where I sounded like I was ridiculous out of breath from running yesterday. Nothing, nothing here except for the skunk. That's an expanded pan trap. I got mine set over here. Feather. I don't know if that skunk came over here and checked me out first or not. A little bit of something did. Yeah, we got another nice looking coon. It's a really nice looking coon. Not necessarily out specifically trying to get the raccoons, but. Something came in here and robbed me again. We've been having problems with the raccoons with my bait, stealing my bait in my little cubby here. So that's why we put the dog proof to try to try to stop that theft. I got a little sharp stick that I've been hanging beaver tails and whatnot on. Got to replace that bait. One of the stag red deer. Hanging out in all this wetland area. He was bedded down right back in there. We're gonna get to work on filling that other essence jar up today for sure. That's number four for the day. And we ain't to our best skunk traps yet, so. Rapid critters are bailing us out today, keeping us busy. We beat our, this is the best uh, total count so far. I think it's nine. What happened here? This is the second time we've had a dog proof pulled out, but not fired. That's unusual. Oh, ho, ho. Man, this mud is deep. Oh, he finally got us. Beaver. 
he's been giving me fits. I understand why we were missing him in our, uh, in these Bilal's especially. But, uh, not the biggest beaver. Maybe there's more of them. Wound up with a pretty, pretty darn good day. Four raccoons, four skunks, a gray fox, and a beaver. Not exactly the kind we were wanting, but that's good numbers, and I'll take it.